That's what happens when you wake up at four. You get stuff done. Talk about real life. So I am, first of all, welcome to day three. Ignore this, I have a really painful pimple, but um, I had cut my hair with my, what is it called? Clippers, I can leave for a second. Um, but I did it, when I, when I cut my hair down, I mean my hair is short anyway, but when I cut it down to be shorter, I usually do it either when I'm bored or frustrated with my hair. It's not always the best time to wash uh, all this product in my hair, that's okay. I'm gonna wash my hair in a second, but it's not always the best time to cut your hair. So I'm actually gonna recut it because I'm up stupid early because my son, my baby son is up. You see this? I don't know if you can see it in the camera, but it's... So I, need, I need a taller tripod, but anyway. It's like uneven. But anyway, I'm gonna I'm gonna do that. It's stupid early, but my baby son was up. I couldn't really sleep anyway. So I got some work done. So I'm going to even this out. Um these are the clippers that I use and they're actually really great. Um I have a box somewhere. Anyway, this one is it actually it has a this is not a USB charger, but it charges so it's wireless, and I really like that because I can just go like this. But I'm gonna get the guard. Um, I'm gonna put it on the 2.0 setting. Um, so I like this because I mean, of course, most razors have this where the guard. I'm sorry. Did I mention it was early? <laughs> where the um, the razor the razor position. So I'm gonna put it at two. And I think I'm going to use, I think I'm going to use a 12 millimeter first. And it just pops in there like this. And then it's, um, so it shows you the, I don't know if you can see that. Sorry, I'm, I'm not using my camera as a flip screen because I really just need to go get it. But I'm being lazy. But anyway, when, when you press it on, you can see how much battery there's left. And I don't know if you can see this or if it's gonna show up. But you see there's one. So there's like, um, there's two different speeds for the razor. So I'm gonna put it on the lowest setting in a second, but I'm putting, cause I'm doing it in my room. So I'm putting a towel down so it'll catch the hair. So going to, I'm gonna go this way and then go forward. I actually don't, mine really short hair so I really don't care plus I have a wig coming which I'm excited about um I'm call all this out all right oh I Sandra deluxe while we're doing this so I'm probably gonna speed this up Sandra deluxe she's one of my favorite makeup makeup youtuber so Yeah, I did a horrible job the first time. <laughs> so, this is what I cut off. Um, I do have four C here. This is what I cut off. This horrible job the first time. But, so, I'm going to clean off my clippers, hop in the shower, wash my hair. It's still stupid early, but let me go get in the shower. Ugh. Okay, so your girl has clothes on. All right, so we have cut and washed my hair it's not bad anyway i'm gonna put some leave-in conditioner in my hair so um we're using cream of nature i don't know if it's gonna focus or not <laughs> probably not but it's okay um strength and shine leave-in conditioner i'm just gonna oh i mean not spray my camera 
then, oh, then we're gonna do some Shea Moisture Coconut and Hibiscus Curl Enhancing Smoothie. This is still thick, and my hair loves thick products. If it's not thick, it ain't gonna work. All right, next what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a little bit of this. Which this is the Style Factor Edge Booster um, Stronghold Water-Based Pomade in the Cherry Scent. Um, it does lightly smell like cherry, but it's not um, overwhelming. I'm hoping that this is in focus. Yeah, okay. I'm hoping this is in focus, but anyway, uh, it's not too much. So I'm going to take about this much. I don't know if you can see about that much. And. Now, as you can see, I don't know if you can see or not, but there is a little bit of a white cast. Um, you can see the product, but most of that is going to go away once I sponge it and once it fully dries. And now it's sponging time. The way I sponge, I sponge in counterclockwise circles. The first one after a wash, I will hold it in one place for a little bit, go counterclockwise, and I don't know if you can see, but you see it's more defined. Now ignore the edges because I brush those out. I don't leave those, I don't leave those coiled. But you just hold it for a few seconds in that area, going in little circles. goes so it'll dry and as you can see I don't know if you can see the white stuff before but it's gone now <laughs> um, so I am going to clean up a bit I need to get a new sponge it keeps falling apart on me um, but I am going to do my eyebrows a mascara day to day I do a couple different things but I'm just gonna do eyebrows mascara I'm actually planning on having that be vlog as for tomorrow so, gonna put on some eyebrows, mascara, earrings, clean my glasses, put on my sweater, and finish up and get ready to go. So, I will see you guys for the business tip. Okay, so we're gonna have this quick little lesson before my lunch gets here. Six of the different types of ads that you can do. So we have CPC, and I'm looking down because I wrote them down to make sure I didn't forget. CPC, CPM, CPV, CPA, CPL, and CPE. We're gonna talk about them briefly. Okay, so CPC, oh, glasses, okay. CPC means cost per click. So that's pretty self-explanatory. This ad will cost you when your target audience clicks on the link. So cost per click, okay? Okay, CPM means cost per mille. It's M-I-L-L-E. I make videos, not pronounce things right. So, and that's the, a cost per thousand impression. Now, an impression is whenever somebody scrolls past or sees your um, ad. So that means that um, whatever the cost is, whatever your budget is for that ad, if it's a CPM, that means that would be the cost per a thousand impressions. So let's say the cost is $200 per thousand impressions. If you get a thousand impressions, it'll be $200. If you get 2,000, it'll be $400. The numbers in between that, you gotta read the details because different platforms do the nitty gritties differently, but generally that's what it is. CPV is cost per view. This is typically for video ads. So just like the CPM is impressions, um, CP, 
CPV, all these acronyms, CPV is cost per view, so it's the same for video. So you will be charged based on how many times somebody sees your video. When I say see your video, it usually means for about two to three seconds, depending on the, the platform. I've seen some where it's three seconds. I've seen some where it's two seconds. I know that Facebook is three seconds, I believe. But so if they stop on it for three seconds and keep scrolling and your video is 10 minutes, even if they stop, you're going to be charged for that. So that's what CPV is. Next is CPA. CPA is cost per acquisition. Acquisition means um, something that is bought or acquired. <sighs> okay, so cost per acquisition is the cost that you would pay per item bought or downloaded or whatever. So an example, an easy example, an easy example would be a t-shirt. Another example could be like a freebie download or something, but let's go with the t-shirt. So if you do a CPA ad for a t-shirt, every time somebody bought a t-shirt, you would be paid. I mean, you would be charged for that. Okay. So that's what that is. Next is cost per lead. A lead can be a lot of different things. So, um, let's say you you a lead essentially is getting the attention of somebody and directing them somewhere else essentially that's what that is whether that's to a landing page a website a video on somewhere else like on YouTube um, it doesn't have to be on YouTube but I'm just trying to give you an example so a cost per lead would be that so um, let's say you have um, a thumbnail of a for a video you did on YouTube and you did an ad for that and then the link for that ad directed people to the YouTube channel anybody that would click on that ad that would be directed to that YouTube video on your YouTube channel that would be a lead and you would get charged for that okay so hopefully that makes sense um, yes it could be cost per click but you know they're they're CPC and CPL are different on the different platforms when you do ads so it just depends on what you're doing which version of an ad works best for you but some of them are similar last thing we're going to talk about is cpe cpe is cost per engagement you will see cost per engagement a lot on social media channels because those are the type of ads that you see that are like um you you know if you have a business account let's say on instagram you have a business account on instagram um a lot of your posts you'll have that blue button i believe it's on the lower right hand side that it says boost this post or boost post whatever it says and you you know do that and then you get an option where you say where do you want people to go when they see this and it's like back to your social media profile like that's a, a type of engagement there's a lot of different types of engagement and i will actually link an article that talks about the different types of engagements um, in the description box make sure you check that out because I don't want to get too much into it but that's essentially what it is so let's go with that example if um, somebody sees the picture so I got new headshots recently and let's say I boosted that post and I wanted people to redirect them back to my profile and hope that they follow me right um, anybody that would click on that ad and go to my would be right to my profile and if they landed on my profile that would count as an engagement so then I would be charged for that you see what I'm saying so yes that sounds a lot like CPL CPC but there's when you when you go to make your ads and maybe I'll go more into it in a different video but when you go to make your ads um, there are different criteria that you can pick and that's really where the differences where with these different types of ads lie so that is what it is so those are six different types of ads and those are general remember those are general um some you may not have availability on some platforms and others like versus google ads versus facebook versus twitter instagram youtube pinterest uh uh tiktok uh snapchat you know what i mean some of them have the general ones so like i'm pretty sure almost all of them have a CPC which is a co cost per click I'm pretty sure they all have some form of CPL or CPE which is the lease or the engagement um, uh, probably a CPV which is a cost per view for the videos um, some may not have CPA which that's the cost per acquisition things like Facebook and Instagram would because my computer and my phone are being rude but because um, we know they have like the Instagram shops, I believe it's called, and then like Facebook Marketplace, things like that. But um, 
a platform like TikTok, I don't think they have like a shop feature on TikTok. You see what I'm saying? So just do a little bit more research um, when you're doing your ads and go to that, all that stuff. But I'll put some resources in the description to help you out. So that is it for Vlogmas Day 3. I hope this helped. I hope you enjoyed and I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye.